Yeah, I want to act really bad. Um, I know it sounds weird. I never thought I would act, but I've been really inspired by what uh, Machine Gun Kelly has done with his career the last three years. Um, I'm one of them old school guys, Jason, and this is weird, but if I see somebody do something, whatever in me since I was a kid instantly goes, oh, that's doable. Hey, welcome. This is another Odyssey check-in. My name is Jason Bailey, and I am with uh, the biggest artist, period, end of story. doesn't matter what format we're talking about in the music business right now. We're talking record breaker for most weeks spent at number one on billboards. All genre. Let me say that again. All genre. The new album, Witsit Chapel, is available. The owner of three CMT Music Awards. I personally... <laughs> Uh, have so many questions, and I'm such a fan of our guest Jelly Roll, uh, especially after the the doc that I watched on Hulu, brother. How are you? Oh, dude, I'm 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 through the even hearing you say that. I still have moments where I'm like, who is he talking about? Like, who <laughs> right? is this man he is speaking of? There are people <laughs> from my past that would never believe that was an intro to me. <laughs> so here's the here. This is something a lot of people might not know. Believe it or not, about you, Jelly Roll, you are a new school artist that came up the old school way. Uh, Odyssey had a lot to, to do with that with a station, I believe the Paul in Greensboro, North Carolina, where they said this jelly roll guy, we're all in. And then after that, it was like wildfire. Oh, dude, listen, it was insane. I don't know if you know this or not, but they, it just Odyssey came in and pretty much picked a single for us yeah. and there it went. And it's been, I'll give you an example of what the last year of my life has been like, Jason. This is the easiest way to put it. In 2022, my first show of the year was in March of 2022, and it was at an 800-person club in Buffalo, New York. Mm. And I barely sold it out the week of the show. 2023, I'm going out. I'll headline the amphitheater in Buffalo the fifth night of my tour, sold out at 18,000. That is that was the difference in those 15 months. Let me ask you a few simple kind of rapid fire questions here. Uh, is there yes. someone that you have not collaborated with yet, as specifically genre wise, that you want to? I would really, really, really like to work with Corey Taylor. That's like my dream collab in the rock space right now. It's like I really want to work with Corey. I um so, I think he's inspired me in so many ways musically. One, his approach to music, but two, his ability to constantly reinvent and recreate. Yes. Um, I'm the epitome of a guy that reinvented himself, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And watching guys like that have always been that. And I just I think we could lean into something really different. I agree wholeheartedly, especially if you lean into maybe a harder rock version of what we've seen from you yet. You That's know? what I was thinking too, man. And he's the king to me of taking those serious songs and those big ballads and making them bangers. Right. You know what I mean? Of like those songs that you feel in your soul, but they're moving. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, that's what I want. Yeah. I'm a fan of everything from Slipknot to the solo stuff, to stone sour. I I'm Ugh. a huge mark for, for Corey. Listen, Taylor. Hot take stone sour might be my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. To be well, honest. through the glass, I like when you say Corey Taylor, I can totally see you just doing through the glass yourself. Yeah. To be honest with you, you no, know, and you, sure. you have some tracks, you know, that haven't, they're not radio releases, but there's a growl to your voice in some of those tracks. I think I heard it on creature, you know, I mean, you like you have the, you have that rock growl. If you want to lean into that. Oh, know? absolutely. And it's my, it's my, it's the reason I sing with that growl is my favorite singer of all time is a guy named uh, Bob Seeger from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Sure, and sure. I grew up listening to Bob Seeger. And I just remember that just that, presence his voice sounded like a flowing river yeah like a violently flowing river you know what i mean yeah. and my earliest memory i got discovered as a singer singing old time rock and roll at a bar keep in <laughs> mind i'm 15 hip hop albums deep you know what I'm <laughs> i was going to say anything bob seger yes yes oh, yeah. yes my favorite song of all times against the wind ever any ever? song ever ever would you ever think about covering that I've thought about it, but man, I just don't know that I could do anything for it. You know, it's like those songs that meant the most to me, I'm petrified of. Like yeah. Fire and Rain by James Taylor, um, Box Number 10 by Jim Croce, mm -hmm. like or Operator by Jim Croce. These are my favorite songs ever, and I'm just petrified to even pretend to sing them. I think Willie redid Fire and Rain, right? And he did a good mm -hmm. job. 
Yeah. yeah. He did a Willie Nelson did a really good I met Willie, by the way. Yeah. Weird name drop, but I need to while I got a chance, Jason. Please, I did. Yeah. I meet Willie Nelson. I did a show with him in Michigan. 90 years old. He got up there, picked up his guitar, and sang for an hour straight. It's it's ridiculous, isn't it? Insane. <laughs> I like watching you as big as you are right now, Jelly Roll. Fan out. I saw you meet Slash on the red carpet, and you look like a, 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 a schoolboy in a candy store. It was oh, awesome. I was. I stopped him. His team tried to like brush me off. Like, we're going to the stage. I was like, I don't care. I need to talk to Slash. I was like, I was willing to get arrested. Get that picture. <laughs> uh, well, okay. So, what about the tattoos? Do you have any tattoo regrets? Oh, 96 percent of them, Jason. <laughs> God. <laughs> I got more start? tattoo regrets than I have. Oh, I'm glad I got this. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You don't you don't have like the cool story behind each one and you own it. And you're like, no, this is my favorite. No, this one's my favorite. Do you wish you could be almost tattoo free? Listen, if Ronnie Radke, who's a friend of mine, hadn't beat me to blacken out his arms first, I would have done the same thing. Really? Have you seen his arms? He's just completely, they're just all just black ink. Now he covered up every tattoo on his arms. How you think when you're 16 years old and how you think at 36 years old are so dramatically far apart from each other. It's embarrassing. Like the tour <laughs> tattoos I'd keep because they do have a cool story, but the rest of these were just like, yeah, dude, I can't believe I thought like that. <laughs> like have waffles with butter and syrup. And you're like, why do I have that? I don't even yeah, have anything. I've got a Gerber baby smoking a joint tattooed on my arm. <laughs> I don't know who authorized this in my life or who <laughs> thought that, who was around me at this moment, but I hate them <laughs> for sure. Anything else in the industry you want to do? Acting, wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. I want to act really bad. Mm. Um, I know it sounds weird. I never thought I would act, but I've been really inspired by what uh, Machine Gun Kelly has done with his career the last three years. Um, I'm one of them old school guys, Jason, and this is weird, but if I see somebody do something, whatever in me since I was a kid instantly goes, oh, that's doable. Yeah. You know, does that make sense? Like if I knew somebody personally that did something, I was like, oh, this is like achievable. Like even if it was like, some third cousin's uncle played at the Grand Ole Opry. I was like, whoa, we might be able to play at the Grand Ole Opry. I know somebody's third cousin's uncle that played there. This could happen, yeah. you know, and watching MGK do all these independent films has really inspired me. Uh, Jelly Roll, thanks for your time. I know you got a million things to do. I will see you soon. And uh, until then, my friend, take care. Yo, thank you for your time again, Jason. I hope to see you all the show, brother. <laughs>